For me, it's about the law and people. I just need facts, okay? Yeah, okay? Just facts. And how people can resolve their problems and just be better for it. Justice with passion. I always knew I was going to go into law because I tried to see everybody's point of view in an argument. And I encouraged people to talk to each other to try to resolve their problems. Justice with truth. Do not waste your time and do not waste mine. This is Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. Olivia Griffin is suing Allison Banks in the amount of $936.04. Ms. Griffin claims she asked her neighbor to babysit her son and says he had to be rushed to the hospital afterwards because he swallowed some batteries. Ms. Griffin, you are suing the defendant, your neighbor, yes. for $936.04 uh, for a hospital visit, an emergency visit, your son. Uh, had to go to the emergency, uh, the emergency room, correct? Yes. Tell me why the defendant is responsible. So I had to step away for some important errands. I do have a babysitter that's regularly there, but she had to call out. So I asked her if she wouldn't mind watching my son. Okay. Um, he's well behaved. He's eight years old. He is quiet, just wants to play with his toys and watch TV. Has Miss Banks ever taken care of your son previously? No. Never. This is the first time you've ever taken care of yes, her son? Yes, in three years. And how do you guys know each other? We're neighbors. You're neighbors. So, but you were, what's your son's name? Andrew. Andrew, you're familiar with Andrew? Yeah, I see him around the neighborhood. I've seen him at several barbecues. He seems like a really sensible kid. Okay. Yes. Um, do you have children of your own? I do not. Do you have uh, family members that have small kids that you around or no, your friends Honor. or family who have small no, children? No, I don't have much experience with children at all, and she should know this. I've told her this, and I made it clear when she asked me to. Okay. All right. So this is the first time Ms. Banks was taking care of Andrew. And how long were you going to be gone for? Originally five hours, but it ended up being a little bit about six hours, but I did, did you call get, her. Okay, so uh, what did you do with Andrew for five hours? We were both hanging out in the living room, Your Honor, and he had some toys out, he was playing with those, and then... And what we, were you doing while he was playing with his toys? I was going through a few emails on my phone, but I mean, I was right in the vicinity. I was never more than 10 feet away. So you're on your away. phone and he's just playing? Yes. Okay. All right. So you were in the same room all five hours? Yes. Yes. Right up until she called at about 15 minutes before, I think it was like 4.45. She was supposed to be there at 5. And she called to tell me she was going to be a little late. He was kind of doing some role play with his toys. So he was getting a little loud. I just stepped out into the hallway, just put a little distance between us, took the call quick, told her it would be totally fine for me to stay a little longer. And when I came back in the room, he uh, it looked like he put something in his mouth, but I couldn't be quite sure. So I asked him and then he was, you know, up front with me it felt like that he said, no, I did not. And you know, he, there seemed to be something a little off. He was a little shifty, so I asked him again, told him he wouldn't be in trouble. I just needed to know if anything had happened. And he assured me nothing had happened. He didn't put anything in his mouth. Did you ask him to open his mouth? Well, yes, but being eight years old, you know, like he, it, it, there was nothing there. And eight years old, I figured if he had swallowed something, he would have let me know, like, oh, you know, something Well, this got is caught. your first time with a, a young boy that you've never taken care of. So obviously there's trust issues. He doesn't know who he, you are. He thinks he might get in trouble because he doesn't know your personality. So did you just common sense, did, did, did you think to yourself, well, maybe I should call Miss Griffin or Olivia and let her know what's happening or I mean that didn't occur to me because he seemed very upstanding child you know I saw him around the barbecue said he was a little shifty a little off afterwards not like he seemed a little shifty just like because I came at him you know as far as like oh did you do something and he obviously I feel like kids generally from what I've seen just get defensive naturally that way but so you haven't seen enough of kids that's what I'm saying you say you have no experience with children I mean I don't have experience watching them. I'm not like a certified caregiver. Oh, you don't have to be. You just have to have common sense when right. you take care of kids, right? I mean, everybody yeah. has a babysitting job mm -hmm. for the first time in their life, mm -hmm. and you're usually like much younger than, than you. So when Olivia picked up Andrew, did you say anything to her? No. 
I nope. did not. No, not? because it honestly didn't occur to me. He went right back to playing. Nothing was off after that. Nothing was off before. But you observed him more carefully. So you did feel something, but you didn't. You neglected to tell me, inform me. So you didn't mom. think it was important that you saw something that you didn't understand. You didn't think it was important to tell her. I mean, no, at that point, you know, I was running late to, you know, get my things in order for tomorrow. So you were in the same room. You say you were on your phone, but paying attention to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't tell that me. That when he, when something happened, you stepped out of the room only mm -hmm. momentarily? I stepped out of the room for probably about a minute tops to talk to his mother. You didn't you even know? go to the bathroom in those five hours? I mean, yeah, I mean, the bathroom's right off the living room. You know, I left the door cracked just a little bit, you know, and give myself privacy, but so I could still hear what was going on. And honestly, Your Honor, this he didn't raise a fuss at all. The loudest he got was with the toys and having the TV up a little loud. Coming up on Justice For All. I rushed him to ER, not really sure what was going on. I didn't even think anything about her until they took x-rays and they found batteries in him. He had swallowed batteries. And later, I come to find out that he has made $10,000 at the time off of the video. It's since then been even more time that he's probably made more money off of it. I was paid nothing. Closed captioning provided by If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call 1 888 552 6878. You're watching Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of Olivia Griffin, who is suing Allison Banks for medical expenses. So if you're on the couch or on the chair going through your emails, sometimes like your phone just blacks out reality. That's what concerns me, mm -hmm. that maybe something happened while you were consumed on your phone. I, I do understand this, Okay, so Honor. that's the only thing that doesn't sit well. So, Ms. Ms. Griffin, you picked up Andrew, and then what happened? Well, she came, she was at my house, so when she oh, came... Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> you, you came I paid home? her a good amount, and we, she said everything went perfectly, which obviously it did not, and she, she went She didn't even tell you she that? She didn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. So then I started seeing my son. He started saying he's not feeling well, his stomach's Immediately hurting. thereafter? No, it was later on in the evening, and I was kind of just observing him. He never gets sick, so it was a little bit strange, but then he started crying very, like, hysterically. He started hunching over, saying his stomach really, really hurts, and that's not normal. It started to make me very concerned, and so I rushed him to ER, not really sure what was going on. I didn't even think anything about her until they took x-rays and they found batteries in him. He had swallowed batteries. And thankfully, he was Wait, able to... What kind of batteries? They're little small, I guess, toy batteries. The little... Yeah. And where... So these batteries were in his toys? They were the in... The little, little round lithium batteries? I or guess one? so. Or I don't... Like maybe his remote cars or something like that. I mean, but they... Sh I have an x-ray here. I have okay. evidence. Go ahead, Cinder. Uh huh. And so you didn't leave batteries lying around no, in your house? No, absolutely not. Okay. Well, then how did your son get that? Okay. I have no idea. Well, he was under your chair. It's in my house, email, so though. I couldn't tell you, but, right? I'm sorry, so, but you're the adult. All right, so there they are. Yeah, I'm just supposed to know where but, you keep well, everything you, and what's Ms. there Banks, on last minute. Well, you, were on the couch. Right. You said you were sitting in front of him, right? So maybe you should know. Yeah. But you were too busy on your phone. So, okay, so he swallowed. Wow. So then what happened? What did the doctor say? Well, thankfully, he was able to pass them naturally. He didn't have to have any surgery done, but I still have... No effects? Maybe. No effects. So, I mean, I, I, it is very dangerous. For, right. For, he could have died. And I go to her right the next day after I get back from the ER, because we're there all night trying to make sure that he's okay and everything. And she's totally in denial, said that, oh, well, yeah, actually, I did may have seen him swallow something and did not tell me. Is that what you said to her? I did see him maybe swallow something? I said that as I walked back into the room that I thought I saw him put something up to his mouth and don't that is think, when I confronted him. Don't you think him. that would have been a critical piece of information right. for, for, for Miss Griffin to know? Maybe right. she as a mother could have said Allison saw you so put, thinks you put something right. in your mouth. Did you put something in your mouth, yes or no? And I'm sure hopefully he would have fessed up right. and would have gone to the emergency room right away. Yes. You didn't think it was even important for her to even if you were deemed a fool that nothing happened but don't you think it would have yes. been important for her to know it could have been worse 
I understand it could have been worse, but the thing was the child, I asked him three to five but, times. But that. again, he's a child, he's eight years old. Yes. You have never taken care of him before. Common sense would tell you as an adult, mm, I gotta tell his mom right. or something's fishy. You said he was shifty, he was a little off. It would have been important for her to know. It would, could have ruined his digestive tract. You know, I, I, I don't even know. They say the combination of this, the saliva with the battery, the lithium, it, a whole slew of things could have happened to right. this little boy. So you, what happened after the emergency room? You told Miss Banks this is what happened? She basically told me that she thinks she did witness him put something in his mouth and she asked him but didn't think that it was important to tell me and that's why I am here today. She should pay this bill. I am a single mom. I am working so hard to take care for my son and myself. I can't afford this bill when it was, he was under her care. Okay. So uh, Ms. Banks, what did you tell Ms. Griffin when she said, I think you need to pay for the emergency room visit? Well, I think that's absolutely absurd because when he, I did check with him and I did everything as far as I knew appropriately, you know, and nothing when he, when he was picked up, nothing seemed off. You everything, said everything had been was perfect, perfect. Up, up until then and that one minute and a half instance where I had to step out, I thought I saw something, I checked with the kid. Within the one and a half minutes, it all seemed resolved. He went back to playing. He was totally normal. Sometimes it takes five minutes for a child to do something that's deadly. Yes. Maybe you were so consumed with your phone and the emails and whatever it is that maybe you could have prevented this from happening. Because it took Andrew a while to get the little batteries out from whatever toy he had. So something must have happened before you walked away to the room for this to happen. So based on the evidence, I will grant the plaintiff's claim Thank in you. the amount of $936.04 as I feel that the defendant um, acted negligently in taking care of, your, of, her, of the plaintiff's son. Good Thank luck. you, Your Honor. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $936.04. I am so happy that justice was served today, and I'm just glad that we were able to take care of this in court instead of on the streets. This is what you get for being a nice person, I guess. Thank you. Coming up on Justice For All. For instance, after, after the, we shot the, the video, I paid for her lunch. Mm -hmm. She stayed with me for three days. Rent in LA is very expensive. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Justice For All with Judge Christina Perez. Mary Peters is suing Logan Jameson in the amount of $5,000. Ms. Peters claims her friend asked her to collaborate on a video together and says once it went viral, he didn't share any of the profits with her. You are here suing your friend, the defendant, Mr. Jameson, for $5,000. Yes, that's true. Because you two made a video and money was made and he did not share in the profits. Yes, I was gonna be coming out to Los Angeles where he lives to visit him for a separate reason. I had texted him before going that I had an idea that he could do for his YouTube channel different from what he normally does. Mm -hmm. Something that I thought was a very unique original idea that I don't think he could have come up with on his own. And I came to Los Angeles, we filmed the video together, we both took part in it. And a few months went by, I saw that the video was getting really big, it was getting a lot of views, meaning mm -hmm. that just a lot of people on the internet were watching it and sharing it. And I asked him, kind of, did you get any sort of compensation from this? I'm not really sure how that world works. Mm -hmm. And I come to find out that he has made $10,000 at the time off of the video. Okay. Um, it's since then been even more time that he's probably made more money off of it. I was paid nothing after the fact, um, and so I feel that I should be given a fair compensation for the amount of work and idea that I put into the video. Okay. Mr. Jameson, what's your side of the story? The biggest reason why I have not compensated her with the funds that I received from the video itself is because she was compensated, it wasn't what she was compensated for um, in terms of physical money, but with things she did not have to pay for. Mm -hmm. For instance, after, after the, we shot the, the video, I paid for her lunch. Mm -hmm. She stayed with me for three days. 
Rent in LA is very expensive. Coming up. I was actually able, because of this video, to quit my job as a server at a restaurant. All right, so we have the video, right? So there you yes. got the video. Can we see the video? Can you make that happen? Closed captioning provided by... You're watching Justice for All with Judge Christina Perez. We're back with the case of Mary Peters, who is suing Logan Jameson for profits from a viral video. Ms. Peters, before, I, I know I have the video and I really want to see it, but what did you expect to get in return when you shared the idea with Mr. Jameson? Money? Nothing at the time. I, ex I expected to have a very good time with my friend and okay. get content for, for his channel out of it. And what did you expect when she told you the idea? What were your expectations that she wanted? I expected an old friend to be joining me on what my day-to-day -day life of like creating... what you do for a living, technically. What, I do, for, what, what do. I do for a living now. I was actually <laughs> able, because of this video, to quit my job as a server at a restaurant. All right, so we have the video, right? Cinder, you yes, got the video? Can we, we see the video? Can you make that happen? Can we show the video, please? Do you have any roommates? I do, I have two. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. What are your true, genuine thoughts on these roommates? Am I under oath? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I haven't seen them since we moved in. I just know that they're a couple. Why do I feel like the majority of the time you're talking to your dad, you're asking him for money? Oh, no. I've also noticed that you have, over the course of this interview, been backing up very slowly. Is there a reason for that? Oh, I didn't... What is a hot take? that you have against any certain demographic of people. I don't think that pineapple belongs on pizza. I think it's annoying that people our age are late to everything. Logan was 20 minutes late to oh this my filming God. today. Well, I mean... That's cute. It's that's adorable. Really that's nice nowhere near the entire length of the video oh, either. That's only very clips good. that's been selected. You guys selected. have good chemistry on camera. Very good chemistry. But um, I I'm at an impasse, Ms. Peters, because you are here demanding half of the profits that he earned from this video that yes. he uploaded to his YouTube channel that is technically his business. Did you yes. know that that's like what he concentrates on? Obviously you do know. No, he, 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 had a, he had a wait staff, staff job at the but time that I thought was paying I understand, his bills. But you, we don't live under a rock. We know that sometimes people who have channels on YouTube do, need, do make money. Right? But he wasn't getting anywhere near the amount of uh, views on his regular videos that I thought you would be I getting get, paid for. So you're for. saying that your idea made him the people a breakout star. making money are star. getting millions of views so every. Your idea made him a breakout star. Yes. Judge Perez's verdict when justice for all returns. Promotional consideration provided by. I feel I should be seen as a collaborator on the project. Unfortunately, you didn't make that contract and you didn't make an agreement. I didn't realize piggy, an agreement really needed to be back. signed for. You can't, but you can't piggyback on his success now that you know he made so much money that you want some of that money back. It's very logical to think people who, who post stuff on YouTube may be getting some kind of money. So that's what I'm saying. So based on the evidence, I don't find that there's a contract where I'm obligated under the law, where this court is obligated under the law to have the defendant share in those profits because there was no firm agreement between you two. Good luck. Judge Perez has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. I am very understanding of the outcome of today's uh, session. I hope Logan learns his lesson so he doesn't screw over further collaborators. This has been a production of Allen Media Group.